What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you guys to check out and this time it is a 1v1 between myself and another subscriber. Um, I am playing as Bactria as you can see here with their majestic uh, champion uh, Hoplites. Basically, a, a foot com are they foot companions? A royal guard in fact, you know what, I just, I don't know the names for these units and I've played Rome 2 so much. So anyway, we'll start the game, and we are, yes, against Parthia. So it's two eastern factions for you today to check out. And this is a another very close battle. Um, goes right down to the wire, does this one. And um, so you will be expecting many twists and turns in this battle, as uh, we'll find out who wins and dominates the eastern part of the known world. So, I mean, we'll quickly go over the... Uh, but uh, the army compositions. So myself, uh, I have brought three units of Hellenic cataphracts. Um, I brought three, no, four units of Bactrian horse archers. I'm pretty sure I have two on this side as well. Um, I have my general with his Bactrian royal cavalry, uh, and we also have Bactrian noble horse. Uh, so we have a mix of melee and shock cavalry. But I mean, I have not mixed them up really. I've kind of just kept, kept them separate. Infantry consists of, I think, about one, two, three, four units of Bactrian Royal Guard and four units of Thorax Sword. No, three units of Thorax Swords, in fact. Um, and I also brought three units of Mercenary Syrian Archers, which are probably my favourite and are definitely the best archers probably in this game, in my opinion. Very well armoured, very handy to have, very accurate as well. So anyway, Parthia has brought... Um, noble horse archers, got two on this side, he's got cataphracts obviously, I think he's got about three units of them as well, um, and he's got another three units of noble horse archers out on this side, and he's got um, a very small army at the moment, I think there is some hidden in this tree tree line here, there must be surely, otherwise it's a very small army, uh, he's got th three units of Parthian swordsmen that we can see, and three units of elite Persian archers that we can see. Um, quite a lot of my units very well chevroned up, uh, a lot of silvers um, for the infantry and I think the cavalry's even got some as well, yeah they got triple bronzes, so that is good to see as well. So now we're just facing off, seeing, testing the water, see who's gonna uh, make the first move and it is going to be me as Bactria, I've decided I I can get his general, snipe his general hopefully with some, uh, with some horse archers and then maybe run away if he tries anything, but he gets the first volley off as you can see here. Um, with his noble horse archers, which are very much more armoured than mine. As you can see, um, let's just get a, a good view of mine first. You can see they're, they're, they're quite well, they've got some armour, but they're not, they're not too, they've not got like mail, uh, chain mail like these guys have. Even the horses have chain mail on. I mean, that's just insane. But here we go here, a cavalry charge going in. We kind of missed a bit of it. Um, didn't really get a zoom in, but I mean, we've got the cataphracts now against my Bactrian Royal, uh, no, my Hellenic cataphracts as well. So it's cataphracts versus cataphracts. Who will win? Um, and then we have over here, um, more cataphracts, it would seem, going, at, um, going head to head. I'm now bringing up my infantry, um, to support. This cavalry kind of is very much isolated and it needs to support. As you can see here, a uh, path and swordsman and archers that have appeared in the forest. Um, his swords are now going to help this uh, combat here and I'm I think in a minute I see that his swords are in there and I try to get them out of there I'm starting to lose that combat um, this is a 2v uh, a 2v2 but this is noble horse archers so they are um, they're not going to be as good in combat so hopefully we can take them out and that'll be good to get them off the battlefield one less horse archer unit to deal about at this point I am my horse archers are not faring so well against the general it's a 2v1 situation you're firing more arrows guys and you still can't win and now look at this, the general, he's routed one unit and he's hes moving on to the next. Um, this is pretty sad to see. Out on the far left, I've still got my other cavalry contingent here ready. I do outnumber them, but do I outclass is quite the question that I was now wondering myself. And he makes the offensive on the right flank, or, well, his right, my left. Um, he definitely has the better horse archers and he could, probably could route them. But I think my noble horse in prolonged melee against the royal cataphracts does stand a chance. And my jet, I have three units of melee to his one. So we could do outnumber in that case. And if we then just chase away these units and not necessarily route them, if he's got them on skirmish mode, just chase them away, then um, we may stand a chance of them winning the main battle and um, 
Then we can just finish them off as a piecemeal thing. Um, anyway, the infantry is about to clash. Here we go. Oh, that's a nasty volley there from the Parthian swordsman. Just as my uh, royal Bactrian guards, uh, Bactrian royal guards, charge in, and we've also caught some uh, archers. It would seem we've got a few of them in combat. So that's f fine. We can, I can take that. One, one or two less archers is all, always good. But, I mean, they're pretty elite, um, like it says in their name, and th because they have spears, so they've got like some anti-cav capability. And he's doing quite well here. He's surrounding this unit very well. This Bactrian Royal Guard. Look at it. It's already at 57. Ridiculous. I mean, so is this one over here on this far side. They are getting ripped to shreds at the Bactrian Royal Guard. Which is not good because they've put a lot of money into them. Um, I mean, these ones are holding up a lot better. These Parthian Swords are losing. Um, and my Thorax Swords, it seems, are munching up these Parthian Swords. And I'm now sending in Bactrian Royal Guard to help uh, support against this fight here. In the noble horse archer fight, we've already routed the, uh, the cataphracts, but there's just them left, which is surprising. With that unit there that just got encircled is now gone, so I imagine he'll now move down the line on trying to um, kill them all off. Already, this one's fearing it, its flanks is now running away. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can sort out the situation because this is a serious situation we now got going on here. Um, he's now moving on to the next one. These ones won't have that. Look, they already don't like it being attacked in the rear. They'll break very soon. Look at us fighting here in the in the woods, in the middle of a desert, in a little oasis. So much death. They fight. Must be fighting over like a water supply or something. And then we've got Hellenic cataphracts all the way back here. I mean, they they try to charge against these archers. I mean, they just got gunned down, or arrowed down by like another unit. So I mean, but we are winning over here. And we, because of these Bactrian Royal Guard, which is still a fresh unit, we've been able to uh, break all of the cavalry on this right flank. The uh, cavalry on this flank, we've also broken their melee, and we've done a lot of damage to quite a lot of their archers, um, which is good. I'm now sending off, yeah, breaking off cavalry, my general to be precise, uh, because I don't really want him to, like, fight to die, uh, just, like, to horse archers. But, I mean, he's getting no choice at the moment. Um, I'm just sending him after foot archers instead, but hopefully... Hopefully we can uh, we can chase them down. I don't know really why I sent two units. I didn't need this this unit. To, um, I mean, sorry, this unit here, mate. Or I could have sent that unit after the horse archers and then sent this one to chase them off. But I mean, because I didn't send anyone to chase these guys off, they're now uh, my general, which is was the hunter, is now becoming the hunted, and he is. Uh, I mean, he's got a nice little charge there on the rear of them, and like you can see, they pull out their spears, so they've got an anti-cav capability. If they stand their ground, they could. I don't know if they could really get their spears out if they stand their ground. But I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder now for these for my general. I mean, I think I'm just running him through, telling so these uh, this unit breaks quicker, and also we just get knock a few more men down. I mean, I'm also just being chased by horse archers. It's just it's not good. Already it's a 20 out of 60. That's not good. My general over here is now um, not my general. Parthian general is now in combat against the Hellenic cataphracts, winning decisively. Love to see that. Um, they are horse archers, so they are going to be very weak, and they're right by the right by the bar, so they probably will um, probably will die. I mean, I thought that was the Parthian general, but that's just a Hellenic cataphract. Um, well, let's see if we can find the Parthian general. Is he in here? Oh, that must be him there. That must be him, like the officer there. Oh no, no, it'll be him. No, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it might be that officer. But anyway. Um, as we can see, my general has... Oh, we've gone well past that. I do apologise. Um, my general has died and is dead. He is, uh, he's, he's dead. That That's... It's sad to see and that's not good for the main battle line. Which is very, very close. I mean, it's 3v2 currently. But I mean, with a general death, I mean... My morale is, is going to be weak. We could break at any moment. He's also gone very narrow here. Which is uh, ha handy for me because I can just flank around nicely now. Which is what I was planning to do. Um, and there we go. In with a nice little... Ch I mean, not a great charge. I mean, I really need to get further around, to be honest. Um, and actually encircle these guys properly. But, I mean, this unit's already breaking. There's 12 gone. Right. So, uh, that's a very... But it's a very shallow... Uh, narrow... Uh, it's a deep... It's a deep formation. Certainly not shallow at all. Um, here we go. He's spreading out a little bit. Uh, changing the formation. But it's a bit too late. I've already got him pinned in. Almost a V shape. He's been attacked from two fronts now, so we'll get them hopefully. I really need to deal with these horse archers, which uh, which keep becoming a problem. 
Um, they're certainly getting a lot of kills. I think the path in general is very much still alive at this point, which is annoying to see. Um, these poor Hellenic cataphracts, which are my like saving grace at the moment for uh, just for kills, are now going after these Persian uh, elite archers just to run them down, get them out of here. I've got a few more cataphracts over here um, and some factory noble horse that are killing more horse archers. Thank God we're getting these horse archers off the battlefield. I mean. They have caused enough trouble as is, and they're hard to kill with all that chainmail on. It's uh, it's infuriating to see. Um, but I mean, I don't know. It's close. I, I that Calfrat unit's just broken. I think we're actually losing. Yeah, we are losing that that fight. Wow. I really need to send this horse arch unit probably in there to help support. But I'm sending that back to the main fight. It would seem, maybe to get some more kills. I'm letting. I'm uh, sending this. Sword unit on a merry dance, um, basically, um, just keeping it out of the battle, basically, so it's not fighting in the main thing. And I think just then, yep, um, the Parson General has died. I'm pretty sure. I can't see his standard anywhere. Yep, he's gone. He's dead. I'm not quite. I think he must have died fighting these Hellenic cataphracts. That's very. Uh, just a freak way to go out, but he's gone out that way. So we're down, basically, to what is here. There's a few outlying. Skirmishes going on, but we are basically done this. And the balance of power is, I'd say, ever so slightly in um, in ba my favour, Bactria's favour. Um, I just need to get some of these horse archers off the battlefield because they're still dangerous, even though they're not a proper melee cav unit. They're they're still cavalry, and I don't really have any cavalry left. I've got this Hellenic cataphract unit, which is now coming to the rescue. Um, but I mean. It, it's it's not enough really. He's got this unit and he's now got another unit over here. Just one at skirmish. Um, so he's got two units of cav to my one and I I just need to break these swords really quickly and then I can defend my position against his cavalry and just take the charges. Stand back to back if needs be. Take the charges. But here we go. He's going to deal with my uh, Hellenic cataphracts now. He's good. I might get a charge off here. Will I? Will I? Will I? Oh yeah, get a charge. Nice little charge. I'm mainly into the back of my own men, which is not great. I mean, I do kill some uh, archers, but I mean, it's mainly onto the back of my own men. I mean, there's not many guys for per uh, Persia, for Parthia in there still. They're getting crushed between uh, two lines of, um, well, Thorax swords and a, and a royal guard. Uh, thankfully, they're all gone. There is now just horse archers left to deal with at the moment here. Um, so we can just stand back to back, take some hits, hopefully. I mean, he's got more swords appearing now. Um, these ones are still doing a merry dance. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, these passing swords, I mean, absolutely knackered. We could probably encircle them, but I mean, it's going to be tough. We're just in a prolonged melee here. I mean, this is good for me. I mean, at the moment it's saying, I'm, yeah, they're losing slightly. Um, I don't want to look at the other one, please. Yeah, losing slightly, losing decisively. That's very good. So let's get let's get some close-ups of battle. Oh, here we go. Turning around, I think, ready for the swordsmen that are coming in. Is that my um <gasps> my Thoric swords have broken? Oh no. That actually is that is not good at all. I am down basically to this this unit along with this uh, this arch unit. Apparently the balance of power is still massively in my favour. This is this is an elite unit. I mean it is exhausted. It's pretty um, it's pretty fresh. I'd say it's well, it's just above half strength. Um, I mean, it should kill all these Parthians, I'd say. I mean, by numbers alone it should, and also just by sheer, um, like, what's more elite. But, I mean, these, ho these horse archers, man. I mean, guys, this is, this is going to be the make or break. It's whether I can kill these horse archers in time. They seriously, I mean, they're doing a lot of problems right now for me. It is not good. There's, yes, there's one down. Kill a few more. They've run out of arrows. They're annoying arrows. And now it's just down to killing them with their stupid horses. Fight on the, fight on the ground like a man. Don't, don't use a horse. Here we go. In the, in the dying sunlight. Oof, unlucky. Rip, my friend. We, we need every man we can get. Um, but I mean, yes, in the dying sun of the desert, uh, we we watch as chaos ensues for the final time, the final battle, the final Bactrian unit. They have not broken, have they? No. Oh, they just re 
uh, repositioning. They are now below half strength, and it's another nasty charge. Oh, that is really bad. And they're, but luckily, the Parthian swordsmen, they're wavering. Can we do this? 48 of these guys left. These are... These are Bactrias like 300 here. They are holding to the last. Brave, brave warriors. I mean, kill a few... Oh, yes, another horse rider. He died of just like... Of exhaustion almost. He slumped over. I mean, we turn around again to fight the swords. Bactria... Uh, not Bactria. Parthia comes again with another cavalry charge. So there's not even that many left. There's like seven of them left. Break already. Your general's dead. I mean, in fairness, my general's also dead. That's not going to be a great charge from there. Not going to have any momentum. Oh, yeah. And I turn around and I kind of break the charge instantly. It's like some weird after effect there. But, I mean, look at this. We're being just pinned in by seven guys on horses. And then a lot of, a lot of Parthians. But now they outnumber us. We've not killed enough Parthians. Now we're breaking. And the balance of powers so far are not in my favour anymore. It is, it is shocking. And there we go. It's a costly enemy victory. A defeat to Bactria. Let's just look at, look at the chaos down here. Look at that, it is. Those brave men, they're going to be slaughtered. They won't even be taken for prisoners. They've just shamed the Parthian Empire. So they definitely won't take them for prisoners. But anyway, we'll have a quick look at the battle stats and see who did well and who did not. Um, so, my Parthian horse, uh, Parthian, my Bactrian horse archers, I'm just so used to Parthia having some, that it's just horse archers, Parthia, it goes together. Um, but Bactrian horse archers, this one did not do so well, this is probably the one that broke to the uh, enemy generals straight away. Um, I mean, the rest did okay, I mean, 50 is quite good for horse archers, they mainly they're just to annoy and weaken enemies, they're not actually supposed to be getting kills, unless against, like, lightly armoured units. Um... And then my Hellenic Cataphracts, I mean, two of them did excellent. Getting over 100 kills, that's great to see. This, um, And then Bactrian Noble Horse, um, equally, I mean, did okay. I mean, 24 kills is not is a bit disappointing. My uh, Arch is actually doing exceptionally well. Getting quite a lot of kills, but they were focusing on um, the elite Persian Archers, which um, aren't well armoured, so no wonder they racked up a lot of kills. Um, quite a few Bactrian Royal Guard didn't do, those, do so well, but this one, look at that, rank 7. It got Gold Chevron. The brave, the brave 300 they would be in Bactrian's, uh, Bactrian society. And then my, uh, getting over 200 kills, I mean, and then my Thorax swords getting around about 100 kills each. So quite done. Uh, quite well done by then. By them. Oh dear. Words are hard, apparently. Um, anyway, and my opponent, um, he, with Parthia, he did very well as well. I mean, he's got like 100 kills with most of these uh, horse archers, and they were fighting against uh, lighter ones. They probably were able to rack up a lot of kills. Like I said, horse archers very good against lighter uh, armoured opponents. His cataphracts, probably quite dis a very disappointing show, really, by them. I mean, they are what is the, like, they are the hammer of uh, Parthia. They really should be getting all the kills, but they really didn't. It was actually the swordsman. Look at this. Nearly 200 kills here, over 100 kills here, 100 kills there. Um, that really won the day. And um, that's just it's just mad to see, to be honest. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed that very close battle, right down to the right down to the death, um, then please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And, um, and until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye for now.